In this video, I'm gonna be completely pulling back the curtains and showing you exactly how to build a beach ready body in six months using something I call metabolic revival. Doing so without sacrificing your favorite foods, spending countless hours in the gym, or sacrificing productivity at work. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to build a muscular body by just going to the gym two times a week, how to get a lean body without prepping food or without sacrificing your favorite foods, and also how to do all of this without doing any cardio whatsoever. And I'm not gonna be holding anything back. I'm gonna give you my entire system for free. Step one, I'm gonna show you how to implement this in your life starting today. And two, at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you could use it to build your dream physique. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around. And just so we don't waste any time, this video is only for busy, career-driven men who wanna put their ego aside, are willing and ready to learn, and are willing to make an impact in their lives and other people's lives. So if you're not a busy, career-driven man and you're ignorant to new solutions, you're not willing to put your ego aside and you think you could coach yourself to the perfect body, Click off this video and watch my other stuff before returning to this video. Now, before we hop into the video, I did want to show you guys some case studies to establish trust with you and show you you can actually build a beach body. Okay, so I just wanted to highlight some of our transformations so you could see what's possible for you guys. All right, so number one is Adam. Adam started off at 300 pounds and his goal was to get to under 200 pounds, okay? So he wanted to lose as much fat as possible starting off at 300. And within a year's time, as you can see on the right over here, he lost 100 pounds and his number actually dipped below 200. He was at 198 pounds in that photo on the right. He did all of this only going to the gym two times a week and he didn't sacrifice any of his favorite foods. He also didn't have to do crazy cardio workouts nonstop to make this happen. Now, we have Lou. All right, you can see Lou, he dropped about 20 pounds of fat and put on 10 pounds of muscle. He did this in about six months time. He has an incredible physique now. He looks like a superhero on the right. All right, now we have Ed. Okay, you see Ed in a swimming pool right here. And then you see him on the right. He looks absolutely diced. His shoulders, he looks like a superhero as well, like he was drawn out on a comic book. He looks amazing. Okay, so he lost about 10 pounds of fat, built at least 10 pounds of muscle. His, this transformation happened in six months as well. And we have Michael. This was a year and a half transformation. I was working with him a while. He started off on the left. You could see he's you know, 10, 15 pounds of fat more than he was on the right. And he built a significant amount of muscle here on the right. His main goal was to pack on lots of muscle, lean muscle while leaning out. And he did a fantastic job at doing that. And then lastly, Danny right here. Danny's remarkable for how quick he was able to do this. He did this in six months time once again. Look at him on the left right here, all right? He had no muscle on his frame. He was very skinny, but he was basically skinny fat, right? Because he didn't have any abs, anything visible showing. But on the right, fast forward six months later, packed on, you know, 10 pounds of muscle in six months at least. And, you know, clearly leaner as well. You could actually see veins in his body. So this guy was able to achieve a remarkable physique. Now, these are just some of the client results I've been able to get people and it's all following the system of metabolic revival. Now, just to share a little bit about my story as well, I started off completely skin and bones, very depressed. I had no sense of direction, purpose. I thought that you know no one noticed me when I walked into a room. I couldn't command respect from anyone, couldn't attract women. It was horrible. One night I had the worst night ever where I basically cried myself to sleep because I felt like no one was noticing me. And then I found a YouTube video where a guy had an amazing fitness transformation and I said, well, if he could do that, I could do it too. So I started dedicating every second of my life towards doing this one thing. And eventually I packed on lots and lots of muscle, but ended up taking the bulk a little too far and I was 40 pounds overweight. But recently over the last six months, I was able to shred 40 pounds. So I wanna show you guys exactly what I was able to do in order to lose that 40 pounds. But I wouldn't be here today doing what I love, helping other people get results if it wasn't for me taking that first step. Now you've most likely tried hundreds of fad diets, insane cardio workouts that just make you sweat but not actually lose weight, and even a personal trainer. The reason all those fad diets fail is because they're highly restrictive, you don't get to eat any of your favorite foods, and they're unsustainable. And the reason all those cardio workouts fail is because they're time consuming, unenjoyable, and it's simply not the best way to build your dream body. And unfortunately, even most personal trainers will fail you because most of them suck. And I know this from experience working in gyms for so long. My system operates completely differently because you only need to spend two to three hours in the gym every single week. You don't need to prep food. 
and you don't need to spend countless hours doing cardio. And unlike other trainers, I'm not an imposter. I've actually done this before for myself and helped hundreds of men like you do the exact same thing. Now you're probably thinking right now it's impossible to build a beach ready body without taking away countless hours from productivity at work or without restricting your favorite food. And well, to be honest, most people think it's impossible to do this when they're first getting started, and so did I. All right, guys, let's get straight into it. My metabolic revival system, it's pretty simple. There's three main pillars, okay? It's weight training two times per week. You can do more than that if you'd like, but two times is the requirement. No prep, full freedom nutrition plan, and the no cardio cardio plan. And it seems a little crazy, but I'm gonna explain all of it to you in the next slides. So first, let's go over the fitness regimen, the actual gym part of things, okay? So here's the typical fitness program versus my two hour a week lifting program. Okay, so typical fitness program is you're spending countless hours doing cardio, okay? It's very tiring, it's fatiguing, you feel drained at work, you're doing all these different exercises, that's insane, and you're spending many days and hours in the gym that's taking away from your productivity. Now, my system, it's only two times a week, one hour workouts, okay? You're gonna have more energy at work, yes, more, not less from these workouts. You don't have to do as many exercises and you're doing all weight training, okay? So it's weight training, not a bunch of cardio mixed with weights and all this goofy gimmick stuff. It's very simple. Now, the two hours a week gym method, it focuses on five things, okay? It's technique, compounds, antagonist supersets, intensity, and the other variables which I'll get into to help maximize things. Now first, let's go over technique. Why do we focus on technique in the system? Well, one, you're gonna grow more muscle per rep, which means that you could do less sets and get more out of less sets. It's easier to recover from, it's much better on your joints as well, much safer, and you could get so much more done in less time. So if your technique is 10 times better than someone else's who sucks and they're going to the gym six times a week, guess what? You'll probably get more out of just going to the gym two times a week. Now, compound lifts. All right, so compounds are multi-joint, multi-muscle movements or lifts that use multiple muscles. All right, so typically it's known as the squat, the bench, the deadlift. There's others as well, like lat pull-downs, barbell rows. The whole point is that when you're focusing on just isolation movements, let's say you do a million bicep curls, for example, you're only working one muscle per set. But with these movements, you're working three, four, five muscles per set. Okay, so you're growing a lot more muscle per unit of time, and that's going to help you get in and out of the gym. All right, it's as simple as that, guys. Antagonist supersets. Okay, this is another strategy we use to spend less time in the gym while doing just as much as you would be doing otherwise. Okay, antagonist supersets. So right here, we have a dumbbell row with an incline bench press. Why? Well, basically what an antagonist muscle is, is a muscle that is not interfering with the other lift or a muscle that's on the other side of the main muscle being targeted. So in the case of a dumbbell row, you have your back muscles working. But in the case of an incline press, you have your chest muscles working. So they're not interfering too much with each other whatsoever. So let's say you do a normal set, right? It takes about a minute, and then you rest three minutes, okay? In this case, you'll do another one set, and then you'll do another set right after, only rest about 30 seconds and get right back into it. So you're essentially slicing your time in half while not taking away from your results and picking the best movements with the best technique. So imagine how great that would be to just get in and out of the gym and look at people who spend countless hours there and say, yeah, I have a better body than you, and you dedicate your whole life to this. I've seen it happen. Now, another thing you could do is train with more intensity. And intensity, for our sake, is going to be equivalent to training to failure or close to failure. Why do we do this? Because there's more time to recover. And if you have more time to recover, you're going to have less fatigue overall. You're going to have more energy because you work out less. And because we know that training closer to failure is going to get people better results on average, well, now that you have more time to recover, you might as well do every bit and ounce of effort in the gym that you can in order to get the peak results. So this is something I stress a lot with people I work with. And then the other variables. These are to get optimal results in less time. So it's things like sleep, stress, 
nutrition. And we're going to go over some of these things during this video. But imagine you had a killer workout program, but then you didn't have the guidance for how to get proper sleep or a good quality sleep, how to de-stress, how to eat the right way to actually make sure everything you're doing in the gym is working and paying off. Well, that's exactly what we focus on doing here in this system so that not only are you doing everything right in the gym, but the little other things that influence how much results you're getting from what you're doing in the gym allows you to actually crush it and get, like I said, more results in two hours than people going six times a week. Now, here's the exact program my clients follow in their first four weeks that encompass all of the tips I just showed you guys. So you could screenshot this now if you'd like. But as you can see, I'll use the left side for an example. It's a back compound and then a chest compound, okay? So that is antagonist superset right there that you can use if you chose to. And then it's another antagonist superset, or at least superset, incline curl and cable lateral raise. And then you have two compounds again, an antagonist superset compound with a split squat that's working your quads and an RDL, which is working your hamstrings and your glutes. Okay, so all these things, guys, right here is encompassing exactly what I showed you in the slides before this. Now, let's show you normal fad diets versus the complete freedom diet. All right, that's what I like to call the diet that I have my people following. Now, a fad diet, it's usually restrictive, it's unsustainable, it's hours prepping food. You know, if you've tried this before, you know what I'm talking about. Social challenges, you know, with people saying, oh, you're not going to eat that, why not? Or you can't eat, uh, you know, a piece of cake on your best friend's birthday. And you deal with food cravings all the time, craving your favorite foods or different things. But on the complete freedom diet, you get long-term results while still eating your favorite foods, not prepping, having a fun social life where you could still do what you want in reason, and you get to satisfy your cravings. All right, so this is a completely sustainable diet. Now, with the complete freedom diet, here's what I do with my people to get the best results. First, I have a protein goal that I set for them. Okay, so with the protein goal, they're aiming for about a gram of protein per pound of body weight to make it really easy. So if you weigh 160 pounds, well then I'm aiming for you to eat about 160 grams of protein, all right? Separate it into different meals. And what I do is I take them through a protein sheet, as you can see propped up on the screen, part of this right here, where they get to choose from about 50 different sources of protein so they know exactly what to eat. And when people tell me, oh, you know, I don't really like eating chicken breast or I don't like eating this, well, this sheet does the work for them because they could choose from so many different sources and then they realize, oh, wow, there's good ways to actually enjoy eating protein. Next, after I set protein as the first goal, protein's always number one. I try not to give a million goals right away. Then we focus on a calorie goal. And the calorie goal will be based on the re result that you're going for. But typically, if you're trying to lose fat, you're going to find your maintenance calories. And I do the work. I track my clients' calories. I'm able to find what it takes to maintain their body weight. And then usually I lower that calories only by like 250 to 500 max because there's a bunch of other things I'm going to be showing you guys in the system that allow you to burn more calories without feeling like you're burning that many more calories. But I don't restrict people's food that much when it comes to the calories itself. Now, how to never prep in the complete freedom diet. So there's pre-made meals, there's restaurants, there's fast foods. These are all things that come up and people say, well, how do I deal with going out to eat? Or if I work a you know, a job and my coworkers are all going to fast food. What do I do then in that situation? Am I going to be the oddball out? And the answer is no. So first with pre-made meals, I got a lot of guys that have, you know, a 30 minute hour lunch, sometimes even less, and they don't have time to go out to eat, to even order food. They just want to pop something in the microwave. The problem is usually microwavable foods really are not that good for you, but I have pre-made meals selected so that you guys can choose from them and decide which ones are going to be best for you. So it's all there for you. Restaurants, same thing. There's an entire guideline that I'm gonna go over showing you guys how to eat out at restaurants. And with fast food, I give people the playbook to eat out at fast food. It's very simple. So with pre-made meals, simple things to follow for you guys right here. And you could screenshot this as well. A two to one macro ratio. That means, and you can see on this label right here, you want protein 
to be at least two times more than either the carbs or the fats in the meal. If it's not, it's probably not the best source of protein for you to be eating. Also, you want a 20 grams of protein to 200 calorie ratio. All right, that means that for every 200 calories you're consuming of food, you want there to be at least 20 grams of protein. So if we're aiming for about 40 grams of protein per meal, that means it's at least a 400 calorie meal for 40 grams of protein. You don't want it to be worse than that. For restaurants, okay, guys, this is a very simple rule to follow. First, prioritize two palms worth of protein, and then one to two fistfuls of vegetables, or one to two cupped hands of a carb. No fats, no mixes, no liquid calories. Okay, this is a very simple rule to follow in order to do this. Now with fast food, it's very simple and I'll go over the rules in a second, but I give my clients an entire rule book um, and imagine how easy it would be to just say, oh, I want Domino's pizza. Uh, well, this and this is what I could eat. Cool. And the thinking is done for you and you're getting great results in building a beach ready body. The rules is that it has to be about under 650 calories. The lower, not necessarily the better, depends on your goals. You want it to be over 40 grams of protein and you want to visit the website beforehand to make sure that what you're ordering actually matches your goal. Now, to eat your favorite foods, first you have to choose your non-negotiables, the foods that you absolutely need to eat and enjoy in order to find satisfaction with your diet. And then follow the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule, all it is is that 80% of your foods is whole foods and then 20% of the time you're eating whatever you'd like as long as it fits within your calorie and protein goal. And because we're not restricting calories too much and we're doing strength training and the next strategy we're going to get into, you're able to eat a good portion of your favorite foods. But what if you want to splurge one day? What would you do? Well, follow the protein preload strategy that I give all my clients. Basically, it's you load up on the low, leanest protein earlier in the day. So you're not consuming too many calories, but you're getting lots of protein so that you hit your protein goal or get close to it very early on in the day. Then you don't eat much else of other types of food, but you should have room for a thousand calorie plus meal at the end of the day or wherever you want that meal to be in order to enjoy yourself, whether it's you know you just wanting to eat a certain food that day or a meal, or you know, you're going to a party or a special occasion like a wedding, right? You don't need to get fat just because you're doing these things. Now, here's the never cardio exercise routine. So we just did the diet part. We just did the lifting part. But how do we burn extra calories to really revive your metabolism? Well, the typical cardio program, it has people working out more and more and more across the week. Okay, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all the way through Saturday, I've seen so many people working in gyms just being on the treadmill all day long. But the new way is 10,000 steps. Okay, so that's just a proxy. It's just something that you could aim for. But most people are getting 2,500, 3,000 steps a day. They're just sitting at their desk all day long. That's not what we're doing anymore, guys. We're focusing on integrating steps into your lifestyle. If you just got 2,000 more steps a day, you're already burning 100 plus more calories a day. Whereas most people are doing cardio, this very intense for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and barely burning more calories than that. So why more steps? One, more calories are burned. It also integrates into your lifestyle easily, and I'm going to show you the tips and tricks to do that. You could eat more calories, and it's easier to be in a calorie deficit to keep losing fat. So two, this is the rule. 2,000 additional steps per day is an extra 100 calories burned. And when you think about this for a second, if you were walking 10,000 steps a day, that's about 500 calories. Do that every day, and that's losing about a pound of fat every single week without even lowering your calories from eating a maintenance amount of calories. Right, it's remarkable, but most people don't think about it this way. Now, here's the more steps cheat sheet, because I have so many clients that are busy, career-driven men, like I'm talking to you guys right now, who struggle with this. So one is just to park further from your place of work or wherever you're going that day. Number two is to take the stairs. So hey, guys, if you live in the Empire State Building, now you got to take the stairs. Uh, I'm just kidding about that. But if you do you know, a few flights of stairs, that still makes a huge difference throughout the day. Walk storing long calls. That's a huge one. I've had so many salespeople, or real estate agents, things like that who are taking long calls or even calls from their family members at home. And instead of just sitting at their desk, they go for a walk and they get 
you know, five, 6,000 steps right there when otherwise they would have just been sitting there. Another thing to do is just walking during lunch breaks. Very easy thing to do if you have the time to do that. You could also have a beneath the desk treadmill, especially if you're someone who works at home. It gets steps very slowly, but if you're working for six, seven hours, you're going to get your 10,000 steps right there. And another way is to just make it enjoyable. So if you're someone who, you know, you like playing soccer, you like boxing, for example, you can incorporate doing these things in order to get more steps. Okay. It doesn't have to be this, oh, I go on the treadmill every single day at the gym and I hate myself, but at least I look good, (laughs) right? You don't need to do that. So imagine how amazing it would be to not have to do any intended steady state cardio, long hours on the treadmill throughout the week but still have a body that's leaner than all of the people that are on the treadmill at the gym. So if you're a busy career driven man who wants to get a beach ready body in four to six months without restricting your favorite foods, without spending countless hours in the gym that take away from your productivity at work, then book a call with me at the link below where we'll go over exactly where you're at now, where you want to go. And if we're a good fit to work together, we'll get started. Again, this is only for busy, high performing men who want to build a beach ready body. And if you don't fit that, then go ahead and watch some of my other content, get value there before coming back and booking in so we could get right to the action. And guys, there are only two directions you can go from here to get the results you want. Option one, you could take all the information I gave you here today, test it out for yourself, spend all the hours trying to coach yourself, build a body, learn what works for you. That could take years. Or option number two, you could hop on a call with us and we could shortcut all of that, giving you only what you need based on what we've tried and experimented with before. Fully customized to your body so you can achieve your dream physique in just a half year mask without constantly testing for five plus years what works and what doesn't. So if that sounds like you and you're 100% sure that you're ready to take option number two, book a call at the link below. Because truthfully, building a beach ready body is hard and lonely and most people give up before actually achieving the results they want. But what if I could help you never worry about what your body ever looks like again? Not having to spend countless hours in the gym doing all these crazy fad diets, restricting your favorite foods, prepping for hours on end, doing all these crazy cardio workouts, and all this taking away from your current lifestyle and productivity at work. What would this do for you? Honestly, it would probably change everything because time is money and most training and nutrition systems don't give you all this time back. And that's just the minimum of what we do. So guys, last time, if this sounds like you, book a call at the link below and we'll go over exactly where you're at, where you wanna go, and if we're a good fit to work together, we'll hit the ground running.